hello and welcome to my channel and i want to thank you all for watching if you find this video helpful kindly like share and leave your comment or suggestion in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you have not don't forget to click the like bell to notify you about more content from my kitchen in this video i am making nigerian party stew in a very simple and easy way like if we are hosting like 20 to 30 guests you can easily make your own stew instead of giving it to caterers because yours will always taste better. Yes, without wasting time, let's start cooking. So challenging to make a big pot of stew for a party, like you're having like a party or like 20 people. Instead of catering it, you can do it yourself in your kitchen. So I have my um, bell pepper, I have tomatoes, I have some um, dehydrated pepper so I love to use this dehydrated pepper when I'm making a lot of um, beef stew yes and I have three large onions you can add more if you like onions I have ginger I have garlic and I have habanero pepper I have some Maggi kill seasoning and I have some other dry seasoning, I have turmeric, I have um, clove powder, and I have cinnamon powder. Here I have salt, and on the protein side, I'm going to have a whole lot of um, protein that I'm going to use in the stew. Here I have one more, I have the dry skin, uh, dry cow skin, everything has been cleaned and soaked with a little salt. So I love to do that. Once I clean my corn, I soak it with a little salt. And here I have some cow food, which have been cooked already. So, and here I have um, stockfish. I literally, I just parboil it a little overnight and I soak it. I let it sit in the warm water which I use to parboil it. So everything is soaked and it's salt. So by the time it gets into the steel, everything is going to be so um, succulent. Then also on this side, I have three different meats. This one is uh, cow, cow meat. I boil it and I bake it for like few minutes in the oven. And this one is goat meat. I just boiled it like that. I'm not, I didn't um, and this one is hard chicken so i'm going to use all this so uh the yes the first thing i'm going to do now is to boil the um dehydrated pepper sometimes i soak it overnight so if i don't soak it overnight i just boil it for some like 15 20 minutes and i will clean it out so right now i'll be putting it inside the pot and i'll be taking it to the soap with some water So right now I'm going to be cutting up my tomatoes and the pepper. Yeah, making a big pot of stew or any soup could be so intimidating, but the you know the important thing is just to be organized and get all your ingredients set. Yeah, and before you know it, everything is done. Instead of giving your food to caterers that will manage ingredients, you will know what you have in your soup and it will taste far far better than the caterers. So. For my blender, when I start, when I want to blend, this is how I usually pack my pepper. This is how I load my pepper in the in the blender because I do not add water. I don't add water to my pepper. For that, that makes your stew taste so good. So I don't add pepper, and I usually create water base for my pepper with my tomatoes. Tomato has a lot of water, so tomato goes to the bottom. Then I add some bell pepper. Add some bell pepper. Then I'll go with some habanero pepper. Then I'll go with some onion. Yeah, you might not pack your blender like because my blender is strong, it can handle it. Just do it according to whatever your blender can handle. So 
This is how I pack mine. And I don't have butter. So right now, this is my tomatoes. No water, nothing. It's just so. for like 15 minutes so this is pretty good so i'm going to take it now into the sink to clean it off to remove the seeds and the and the steak going to blend it so now I'll be blending it the cooked um, dry pepper so now I have my ginger and garlic uh, prepped also so I'm going to put this right at the I put some tomatoes first so some tomatoes I put some ginger garlic yeah and I'll put it this on top of it. Put some more tomatoes. I'm gonna put some onion. And I'll put so now I'm taking it to the blender. No pepper still, no water still. Yeah. Ooh. You can see the difference. This is the difference between this and this. You can see the difference between these two pepper. This is the difference. You can see how thick and red this one is. Let me just put it out here so that we can see. Yes. <laughs> That's what the dry pepper gives us. going to continue like this you can see how thick it is it's thick nice red yeah so by the time we mix it with the other pepper and the tomatoes then it will give us a very beautiful color
Time to start cooking now i'll be starting by adding some oil in the pot that has heated up yes i usually love to use the bigger pots yes it's a big it's a good investment if you like if you cook a lot you know you need a bigger pot like this this will make cooking larger portion very easy so then after adding the oil the quantity of the oil depends on the quantity of the pepper that you are going to use and you actually need some oil you need enough oil to fry the stew and afterwards you can then scrape off the oil which you can store and use it again for any other cooking so and then the uh, when the oil heats up you know i'm going to add the onions and to let the onions saute for some few minutes before i start adding my uh, blended pepper let's continue watching I'm going to do is to add some salt. Remembering that my meat has salt, so and immediately mama will go in. Yes. Mama needs to suck some, you know, pepper, you need to suck some steel, some taste. You know. For it to have a nice taste in your mouth. before we continue to add the rest of the ice. So now we are going to look to this stew. You can see that it's cooking up, it's coming up. And what we are going to do now, I'm going to add my turmeric, cinnamon powder then clove powder and i'm going to add my maggi seasoning Good to give it a stir you can see the oil is up already so i have my goat meat so right now i'm going to be adding the goat meat so i'm going to, i'm adding the goat meat right now because i did not 
really cook down the goat's meat when I was boiling it. So I actually wanted to cook up well in the stew so that by the time the stew is ready, oh, the goat meat will have absorbed so many, um, you know, uh, the stew. Yes, uh, you can see that the oil is already on top. That is why, this is why I don't like to parboil my pepper or add water to my pepper when I'm blending it. So if I don't have add water to it, by the time I pour it in the oil, the, you know, the oil will come up immediately. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't waste time before the oil comes up because there is no excess water. The only water that is inside the pepper is the natural water from the tomatoes, the pepper, and the onion. So that is, and it usually, you know, give the uh, the stew a very unique, fresh taste. You know, it's different from the one that you boil. When you boil your tomatoes and pepper too much, when you overcook them before you start frying them again, they will have lost a lot of taste. So it's my opinion anyway, that's how I do mine. Thank you, keep watching. So right now I'm adding the stock fish, the okoroko. Um, as we know that uh, stock fish is very dry, it's a very dry fish, dehyd well dehydrated. So that's why I'm adding it right now. I want it to also cook up and soak up some, you know, steel so that by the time you eat it, it's, you know, it just falls apart in the mouth. It doesn't, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to, you know, be chewing, chewing or you needing like a lot of toothpick to clean your teeth after eating it. So let's keep watching. So I'm just going to stir it and cover it and let it continue to steam. Keep watching. So right now I'm adding the cow food because the cow food was, um, you know, mediumly cooked. Had it been, it's not mediumly, if it's still hard, if it's still very hard, I would have added it into the stew right from the beginning, immediately. I pour the uh, pepper in the oil. But now this is the right time to add it. It's not going to overcook and it's going to be, you know, cook rightly, you know, for us to get a very nice texture that you can easily chew it. Yes, keep watching. So right now, after adding the cow food, I'm just going to stir it up and check the salt. And if there is any need for more salt, and if there is not need, then I'll just cover it and let it still continue to uh, cook. Let's continue watching. If you find this video interesting, kindly like and share it. So now I'm just checking the salt. I think it needs a little more salt. So I'll be adding the salt and I'm going to cover it and let it continue to cook. So now I'll be adding the rest of the meat, which is the cow meat and the hard chicken. My hard chicken was cooked to tender. When you cook hard chicken to tender, it tastes very well than when it is still hard and you have to pull. Yes, when you have to pull it, that means it's not well cooked and you, you won't get the taste. But when it's cooked to tender, it tastes so good. It sucks, you know, it sucks in this, the flavor of the stew or any soup that you are using it to cook. So right now I'm going to, you know, sear everything up. Then we allow the soup to continue to uh, dry up. So right now, I'm going to be adding some flavor pepper to release some nice aroma into the stew, and I'll continue to let it fry. Now I'm adding my blended seasoning. 
the, the stew has been frying for like 15 minutes. We can see that the it has really gone down. It has really, you know, come together and the meats and the stew are, you know, really coming together very, very well. So and I'm still going to let it fry a little more. Yes. Yes, we can see how beautiful this stew is. It is well fried, well, and it looks so good and it smells so nice. The flavor from the pepper is wonderful. And we can see that the meat is blowing with the stew and everything. So this is so good. You can use it to enjoy anything to serve our guests and it can go with any other soup or anything. So thank you for watching. If you have watched to this end, I really appreciate your time. And I hope you, um, benefit anything from the video can you leave your comments or suggestion in the comment section and watch more videos on my channel and see you in my next video bye for now remain blessed thank you bye